questions. You are welcome to this presentation. We are going to be covering how to read Diabendi schedule produced from Prota structure. All right. So this Diabendi schedule are being produced after the structural modeling analysis and design in Prota structure. Once again, you are very welcome to this presentation. We will be considering the calculations that gives us the actual total of the length of this bar bending schedule and as well as the shape. I am so freezing. Once again, stay tuned, stay connected. Don't forget to like and as well subscribe to the channel so you will not miss any of the video lesson of this kind that we always upload every week on this channel. Let us get started. And so here is the structure. This is a reinforced concrete building in Prota Structure 2021, and this structure has been modeled, analyzed, and designed successfully. So if I should expand the story to columns trees, you can see all the columns has been designed as well as expand the beam, see all the beam has been designed. So it is from this now that you produce your bar bending schedule. Prota structure produces automatic bar bending schedule after your structural analysis and design of reinforced concrete building just like this okay so what happened is after the design you have to go straight away to the drawing and report tab okay so on this drawing and report tab so once you click on this product details okay it's going to produce the detailed drawing of this structure that will look like this okay so the detailed drawing of the structure produced after you must have clicked on the product detail found on the drawing and report tab in product structure Okay, so once you are able to produce this, so if you check by the side of this, you will see this form plans quantities take off all stories S2. Okay, so this particular uh, quantity take off is for this uh, first floor slab, this one. Okay, so what we do is we are going to be reading and understand how Prota structure actually organize this table successfully. So we get to understand that in this lesson. So once you have gotten to this provision, so this is a prota details, okay? This prota details. So we have to now export this to AutoCAD successfully for ease of editing. So for you to export this, it comes to the way to export right there, okay? Then you right click on the exports. Once you right click, you can see export. Click on it straight away. It will take you to a dialog of this kind, okay? Where you can now select the version in which you want to export the drawing to. So I normally advise version 27, 2007 because it is the lower version that any higher version can easily open successfully after we click on export to get the drawing exported to autocad and then you launch the autocad okay to view the drawing so you be now having something of this kind okay so here is the drawing so let us go into the reading of the table of the bar bending shadow of the solid slab don't forget to like the lesson kindly subscribe if you are yet to subscribe to the channel soft reason let us make progress all right so now on this table we will have this is number this simply means number okay this one simply means number and this is the size this size simply means the size of the bar but this number we call it bar mark and where will you find this number which is the bar mark you found it on the rebar so let's first this restarts on this rebar so you can see the bar mark here all right so the bar mark is this one this one is the bar mark you can see this one is the bar mark all right so if you are able to look at the bar mark this bar mark is actually found on under this number columns okay you see number column no simply means number it's supposed to be bar mark okay so this is the size of the the size of the bar okay where we have this white thing okay we have this white thing right there the all of this you see it is the diameter of the bar okay so you can have this to be y16 y20 depending on what you are designing and what the solid slab is actually carrying all right so for the number of bar is this one that is before the white end 
okay the number that is before the white dead this number okay this is the number of bar that spans in a specific direction successfully okay so all of these are being found on the stem so here is the bar mark this is the size of the bar and this one is the quantity of the bar now the quantity of the bar is the number of bar that spans within a specific uh, directions okay you know we have two directions in reinforced concrete slab design so we have the main span direction the main bar directions spanning and then we have the distribution bars direction spanning so for instance if we should consider this uh particular if we should consider this particular panel this one from this point to this point okay if you should consider that all right you will notice that this is spanning 18 numbers of bar from this point 18 numbers of bar from this point to this point okay 18 numbers of bar is spanning through that that is why you are seeing you are actually seeing 18 here yeah? 18 by 10 here yeah? spanning through that directions so this direction is this called the you know the main uh, reinforcement direction so this bar can be called the main bar and it is a bottom bar as you can see bottom bar two you have bottom bar one spanning in both directions so after that you don't have the numbers of bar which is the five in between it okay then after which you have the 250 which is the spacing of the spanning all right so this is all what the labeling of the reinforcement in terms of slab design is all about so now let us start the calculations now okay so now you have to look at this bar mark and know how many number of this is in this uh, uh, detailing of this slab and for you to do that since i've shown you the bar mark like this this one this bar now the bar mark is six this is bar mark six okay if you check another one this one is bar mark 23 all right so for this first row we are having bar mark to be one and the size of uh the size of the reinforcement to be uh 10 which is the diameter okay the quantity is uh, 34 and then the length is 7650 while the total length the total length is 260.1 all right so if you come over here at this upper level we see the size of the bar which is the diameter of the bar and the unit weight okay of the bar which is this okay normally bars are buy they are buy in the market by unit weight okay so let us make progress now to us for us to look at how many number of this uh bar mark is existing in this particular detailing we will do one thing okay we will we, we have to use find and replace to know which of this bar is carrying this bar mark all right so for us to do that i like all of this uh details slab like this right click and then come over to find all right under here you have to type minus one uh, dash one dash okay because that is what is between the bar mark that was separating the bar mark from the spacing and as well from the diameter of the bar so you key in this and you click on find so once you click on find you can see two number match okay so once you see this two number match you can click on okay so we have this bar mark for only two bars it's only two bars that contain this bar mark so what you just have to do you come to this place and then you will have to create selection create selection set okay click on that so once you click on that click on done so once you click on done you will notice that this is selected and you can see here uh, bar mark one the first one if you come over here you see another one bar mark one so this and this other one make it two number all right so we have two number of bar mark one all right so the next thing on the table is the diameter so for the diameter if you come over here you can see it is y10 okay that is why you are having this to be y10 all right okay for the quantity this is quantity you have it to be 34 all right 34 of that now let's check and find out we have two provisions for that this is 18 number okay of this bar mark one and then if you come over here we have 16 number of the same bar mark one okay so now you have to do we have to do a simple arithmetic by multiplying 
this 13 and 16. Okay, so I will activate the calculator right away from here. Okay, just like this. So now we will be having 18, okay, plus 16. So if you do it worst, you notice you have 34. So you go back to the table. So on the table now, if you check here, you see 34, okay? So bar mark one and the size is this, okay? The total number is 34. So this 34 is going to cover these provisions of this panel, okay? See, bar mark one here is covering this provision of this panel from this point up to this point. And also is covering from this point up to this point with this length, okay? The length is 7650. So if you check over here also on the length here, you see 7650. All right, so this is our total structure. Actually, arrange this uh, uh, bar bendu schedules tables uh, successfully. Okay, so I believe this is understood. The next thing we need to understand is the total. Now, this total you have to multiply it, the quantity by the length to get the total. So, if again I activate the calculator to get carry out that simple arithmetic, I will uh, clear this at first, and then I will be having thirty four just like this. And then multiply it by seven, six, five, and zero. Just like this, we call it the cost. So you're having uh, 260,100. Okay, so this 260,100 is actually in millimeter. So if you are dividing it by 1000 to change it to meter, the cost, you'll be having it to be 260.1, which is what we are having here. So you can see 260.1, okay, which is the total number. Uh, the total length of this bar in meter. So this provision is a meter and this provision is a millimeter. You can see it, the length is indicated here to be uh, millimeter, but it is it will not indicated here. So that is why sometimes you will be confused of how they got this 260.1 uh, meter. Okay, so just to convert it. Okay, so you can as well convert this first to uh, millimeter. For instance, if you convert this to millimeter, you'll be having 7.65 meter. Sorry, you convert this millimeter to meter. You'll be having 7.65 meter. All right. So if you also uh, multiply 34 by the 7.65, just like this, and you equal, you still have the 260.1 meter, which is the total length. Okay, the total length of this reinforcement of this bar mark successfully. All right. So this is how you actually calculate the bar mark for the bar form which is the shape of the bar if you come all the way to the bar okay so this is the bar you can see this shape is just straight okay there is no hook okay or anchorage is just straight so just come all the way make sure you are seeing a straight and the length is just six seven six five zero okay seven six five zero but one thing that total structure does not produce is the lap length so if you notice the things just stop here there is no additional lap length that is why uh, when once we once you transport or transfer your detailing from you know plotter detail to AutoCAD, you have to retouch it. Once you retouch it, you have to add most of those things that is not included. Okay, so for the if you now add 600 uh, millimeter of uh, length of bar, so it cut a little bit across inside of this panel. Okay, for your lap length, you will notice that you we need to add the 600 to this. So if you add 600 to this, we will be having 7250 okay 7000 so, sorry 8750 millimeter length which we actually change this length here and also change this total length okay so the same thing applicable to the bar mark 2 all right so let's explain this bar mark 2 okay i believe we have understood all of this successfully so for the bar mark 2 now uh, for, for you to look at which of the bar because there are too many bars here and labeling so for you to now be you know going about checking it one by one to be able to look at the specific bar mark it will actually takes you a lot of time to do that so to do that at ease just have to highlight all of the, the details slab just like this right click and then click on the file so in this file provisions you just have to key into in this provisions key into here just like this okay after which you click on fine so once you find you can see four numbers matches okay four matches found so we have four numbers of bars that carries this mark okay four numbers of bars that carry this mark so click on the okay options and then use this uh create selection set so you will select that so once you select that click on the done and then once you click on the done 
zoom closely, you notice all of those bar that carry those mark is being selected. You can see this one. This is bar mark what two is selected, and then this one is bar mark what two is also selected. We have four number of this, so if you check through, you'll see the one selected, and then you'll be able to mark it out. So you can see this one, and the so we make it four number of that. Okay. So the length of this, if you check it very well, is one one six five zero. Okay. That is the length, and it has a hook of three hundred. Yeah. All right. So if you come to the table right here. So the number is 68, okay? The quantity is 68. And then the length is uh, 1650 millimeter. So the total length is 112.2 meter, okay? This is the length, okay? So here is the shape. This is the 300, and this one is the uh, uniform length of 1330 1, millimeter, okay? So you add this to this, okay? This uh, 300, you add it to the 1330, it gives you this uh, 1650. Which is the total length of the bar and also the cut length of this bar successfully. All right, so this is how total structure actually uh, arrange this uh, bar bending schedule for reinforced concrete slab, which is what we are to cover. I believe uh, you have learned a new thing here. Okay, if you have any questions, do not hesitate, drop it at the comment sections below, and as well, try to like and subscribe. Bye for now.